Good morning, Arbitrary. I know most days are laced with shadow and scorched by our cruel minds, but this morning, I can assure you something good shall reveal itself. Today, we have a very special guest. We have scheduled an interview with my father. He is called... <laughs> and is a vigilante of District 9. Apologies for the censorship of his name. To reveal such things in your native tongues would put your souls in jeopardy. We've given him a voice modifier to better understand him. It is lovely to be here. As of now, Arbitrary is a dangerous place. With my father, we hope to provide some answers within the Council's limits to ease your hearts and minds. Father, would you like to explain to our dear viewers the chaos that has occurred? Where do you believe you will begin in making Arbitrary a safe place once more? Uh, Hierophant will be subdued and put to rest. Our forces are retaliating against it as we speak. We will not tolerate another outburst. Our forests shall return naturally over time. Normality is not present. What of Crimson and the other incarnations of light and matter? Lately they've been growing more active. Crimson in particular. It seems rather hard to predict the manner of the advancements they may take against us. Can they be trusted? What if they cause trouble? We, with the Council's approval, will take appropriate actions to neutralize any threats. We will go no further than what is absolutely necessary. We shall blot out the light and restore peace to the shadows. There are rumors that you are somehow connected to the colors which birthed the Nebugasa. What is your relationship with them? Are you at all related to them? We have no relation with the gods. They seem aware that they have no right to misuse their power against the council. Thankfully for them, they are not a direct threat to their legion. Gods or not, they will be hunted down and brought to justice. Are there any new threats you can see coming along the horizon? What of the strange creature roaming through the fog? What created the fog in which it roams? Who orchestrated its abstract nature? The beings of light are doing what is necessary to preserve the madness. The creature which roams their product shall be observed further. We would detain it if necessary. What? Is there an interfering frequency? It's an hour has grown this much? This interview is no. over! No! Father! Wait! Violet! Violet! Your dearest Dolores wants you! How could you abandon me in a world devoid of color? I remember the night. I saw the lights. I saw them. Violet, I saw them. And you took them away from me. You and the others took them away from us all. Now look at the grave you have buried the world in! When will it end? When will it end? Oh, my violet, make it end! End this world's damnation! End this world with me! Let us both be tools of the apocalypse! And curse this world with light once more! The Arbitrary Broadcast Station is experiencing technical difficulties. My apologies, Arbitrary. The Council has informed me that one of our very own staff is present before them as we speak. They wish to make clear their frustration of the matter. Please, do not contact them directly. They have chosen to broadcast their encounter with our staff as an example. They've told him to choose his words cautiously. They shall be the last he will ever speak. Dolores is approaching my council. I have been powerless for far too long. I have been beaten and bloodied and gutted. My mind and body have been mere tools to you from the start. And a tool I shall continue to persist for you and you alone. I only wish to be of service to you. Please, help me. Make me stronger, and I shall take Dolores apart. <laughs> Ah! 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 